All right. Now that you've burst my bubble, what can we solve or make better to actually reduce some of that cost down? Because we're not going to be sending 400 rockets to bring a measly bit of money back. Yeah. So there are four ways we can cheat yep. and make this work better. So smelting the metal, uh, mine a near-Earth asteroid, not a, a main belt asteroid, yep. use ion drives and use the minerals in space. Okay. Do them in principle. So first thing is to smelt it. So smelting is a process of taking your ore and removing the stuff you don't want and just getting the stuff you do want. And so I guess here in this argument is there's some really valuable metals there that is actually what we want, and we could probably get away with some of the other stuff that we don't want. So it's not going to be cost effective to ship iron back or no. even nickel. It's, it's never going to. But if, to. if we can get the platinum and the iridium... Because we're not going to... Unless there's a huge mine of platinum that we find, that's not going to change that much in terms of that cost per kilogram. Yeah, so... The cost is, we're talking about $30,000 a kilogram now. Yeah. So 64 tons of platinum and iridium, that's $2 billion. That, that's much better, but it's still not the $36 billion we need to recover our, our yeah. initial investment to get and it that back. that makes it difficult because we need to have send something out there that can smelt an asteroid. So, so yeah, so we have to get stuff there to smelt the asteroid, refine it essentially, in space and then bring it back. Now, in some ways, it might be easier in space. Zero gravity makes free handling molten fluids much easier. But, I mean, that's a big research project. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. How do you build something that can take a lump of this and extract the tiny amounts of platinum and iridium from the vast mass of iron and nickel? So that's one thing. Yep. To make this work, we're going to need to do this. You're going yep. to have space smelting. Ugh, space smelting. Like <laughs> Say that three times fast. Then we don't necessarily have to go to the asteroid belt. Because well, that's the key, right? If we can reduce our delta V, that reduces our fuel costs, which reduces how yeah. much we can... So back. most of the asteroids are out between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. That's right. We're talking about in the planet's course. But there's a tiny fraction which are closer in. These are the potentially hazardous or near-Earth ones. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of work studying these things because they're the ones that might hit the Earth. That's right. And they're, they're only a tiny fraction. So you know, 16 Psyche is not one of these things. Yes. But a tiny fraction is still tens to hundreds of thousands. There's still a lot of potential targets. Most of which are never going to hit the Earth. So yep. that's uh, none currently known to be on a collision course, but that's another course. Um, and so there are probably a few with delta V as low as four and a half kilometers per second. So that's having our delta V both getting to the asteroid and getting back to the Earth. So that's, yeah, that's a saving. So half the delta V it takes to go all the way to the asteroid belt. Yep. Now that's good. Because remember, it's exponential in yes, delta V. Yes, exactly. So it's not just half the delta V, half the fuel. It's maybe half the delta V, uh, 10 times less. Yes. Um, these are not as big as 16 Psyche, but there are still probably several yeah. hundred meters in size made of metal. And again, we don't know them. We're just assuming they're out there. Yes, and you could start doing spectra of all these things yep. to find which ones they are. That's a feasible project. And if it is 100 meter of this, it still contains about 50 tons of platinum iridium worth about a billion dollars. Now, using the rocket equation, now instead of 9 over 3 exponential, it's only 4.5 over 3. So instead of needing a mass ratio of 20, it's gone down to a mass ratio of 5. So we've reduced it by 4 times yeah. our fuel costs, which means yeah. Yeah, yeah, we only need 5 rockets as opposed yeah. to 20. So now, to get 1 back, you need 5 to fuel it up. But we still need the 5 to get here to get those 5 per 1. Well, you're still going to need... 20 here. Oh, yeah, we can't nine. save that, huh? Yeah. yeah. So it's going to be 5 times 20, which is... 100. So... Better, but... Not dramatically better. Yeah, so that, that's certainly a big help. Um, um, so you're four times better. And if we combine it um, with the smelting, it's still not quite there. You need more than five. You need yeah. still 20, because the, the delta V from the Earth hasn't yep. changed. That's right. So we can... Improve it, but we're still a bit away from making profitability. Yes.